G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where we are back in our mega city, ready to leave the apartment building. Maybe not for the very last time, but it's probably the last moment of this being my normal everyday base. I'm heading off down to the south, down to the wasteland, and down to the desert to build myself something new to try and harvest that better zombie loot. That's the dream, that's the hope, and hopefully today I won't get distracted by something shiny. And as such, I am leaving nice and early. I've got some food cooking away. I'll just grab you while I'm here. Everything else is still smelting about, so there will be screamers here before too long. So I need to just skedaddle while I still have the chance. I'm loaded up, got everything I need. All right, well, apartment building, it's been a pleasure being in and around you for all this time, but it's time for me to move on to bigger and hopefully better things. Jump onto you, jump onto you, and get riding. Let's do it. Look, I'll be honest, I haven't quite come to terms with the whole spending all of my skill points ever on bloody Grease Monkey just to get the motorcycle. But it may have been worth it. This is a fair rate of knots we're chugging along at. Happy as a cucumber called Larry. So I'm fine with spending those points. It does hurt me a little bit knowing I could have specced into several other things. I spent all seven points just on this bad boy here, but I think it was worthwhile. Just the fact I can now get around it a little bit easier. It hurts me, but I think it was worth it. Look at the speed. Look at the speed on the man. What are you doing? Are you all right? I... I, I didn't kill these idiots. Are you guys still dead for the last time I was here? Or did you just die when the sun came up? Don't know. Don't know. Maybe just the sheer thought of me coming back to town made your knees go goopy. Been a long time since so I made someone's knees go goopy, but I will take it. Oh, oh, speaking of knees. Birds are shot up in my front door already. My reputation precedes me. All right, let's drop this shit off. See how we are. Oh, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. It's been a long time since I was holding up in here. It's comfortable though. I like this place. So I actually thought, and interestingly, I was wrong about it, which shouldn't surprise anyone, but I thought I found a big, like a crate of blade traps at some point, didn't I? They weren't at the apartment building. I looked for those. I'm thinking that I want them for my hall base. I want to run blade traps this time. They weren't at the apartment building. They're not here. Which of my many bases out there is holding all of my blade traps? I might need to go on a bit of an adventure just to try and find those things because they're bloody valuable and I want them. So there's one down at the winter biome. There's a lot of good stuff at the winter biome, actually. I might need to go out there just to get that anyway. I don't think there's much at the cathedral, but I don't remember. Admittedly, for me, it's been like two weeks since I was last in the cathedral base. I'm not sure what's actually there. I am... Um, I don't know. I have to find that stuff, though. I need it. Quickly just find a place to chuck down my cement mixes. That looks like a good spot there. Nice. Okay, Q can go back where I found you. And we'll quickly read the treasure map. See where you're sending me, Jenny girl. Hopefully somewhere... Ooh. In a part of the town I haven't been to before. Well, I'm going to be out there anyway looking for the cobble. So that's fine. It's a long way back to Woodle's Grain to go and get all the stuff out of there. The cathedral's a long way away as well. I've really spread out over this map quite considerably, haven't I? All right, well, in that case, uh, let's just jump on the bike and get going and see what we can find. Take our shovels, go and find some blue boxes, see what's out there. Ooh, there's like a big robotics place just there. Could that be where Dee Dee's hiding out? I'm not sure. I see some boxes up the very tippy top, though, which do look like robotics boxes, actually. Oh, Josh, don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Oh, my frame rate is dying. Something shocking. But... I do need a DD. I need a DD desperately because I missed my friend. That's where the buried treasure is. So I'll quickly grab you. Dingo's waiting in the wings. Piss off, Dingo. I'm sorry, what? You copped that in the chin and came back for more. We're not playing fetch. I know it was a stick, but that's not what the game's supposed to be. Well, I'm not going to turn any opportunity to grab myself some free sand and stuff. I don't want to go and like, just actively mine sand, but if it's here for the taking, I'm not going to say no. All goes into making concrete anyway. Just dig down until we can find... Oh, <laughs> we find where the frame rate starts to die again. That's fine. That's fine. Don't need frame rate to go digging up gravel. May get 10 frames a second, but it's 10 frames of goodness. Oh. Well, all right then. I just dug in a straight line and found a bloody treasure cache. 
easy as you like. Quickly bang on the old uh, loot and specs and crack you open. Got plenty of log picks and this time plenty of time. I'm uh, I'm more than happy to sit here and tickle you until you want to open up for me. That was good. Nice and early. Not quite the cobblestone I was after, but I'm still going to take it. Damn it. I was hoping if I kept talking, it would open up for me. Turns out, nah. Oh, turns out, yeah. What you got? Well, ugh, gross. I'll throw you away because you're completely worth it. So I'll take the gunpowder, take the ammo. Mm, I'll scrap you and you. And I don't need old cash. All right. Well, you can... Oh, I was going to say you can stay there for the next happy survivor to come along, but I guess not. All right. Easy as. Good start to the day. Let's go find ourselves some cobble. There is a factory just there. Factories aren't worth raiding. Tier 5 people as a whole just are not worth raiding by any stretch. But... I think that might be one of the factories that has, like, the ground floor big warehouse area that has heaps and heaps and heaps of cobble. So it's worth a look-see at the very least just to see what it might be packing just behind the windows. This does look like the joint. I can see lots of blue. Uh, I'm not sure if that counts as a lot, but there's some. Oh, my God. <laughs> my frame rate. My frame rate is dying. Come on. There you go. There you go. If I start looking in certain directions, the game struggles a little bit. I don't know why, but it's a bit of a problem. All right. Well, nothing for it. I'm not going to raid the whole POI. I'm not going to go all the way to the tippy top because that's just a death sentence waiting to happen. Uh, let's just go to the Magnum. That seems to work out pretty well. I did wake up a lot of his friends, but... Oh, God. I was going to say the Magnum's got it covered. Turns out I can't hit the broad side of a bar with it, though. Ow! No. Okay. I've learned my lesson. I've learned my lesson. Single shot revolvers, not my best option. Rapid fire SMGs, definitely my better option. Because I can't hit shit. I need lots of follow-up opportunities. Because I am just not good. Let's stick to what we know. I just didn't want to waste a steel crossbow bolt because they're expensive and really good and look real menacing too. It's like a whole like... It's like a buck head on the end of it. That's going to make a zombie bleed out right quick. Oh, worked someone up. I managed to murder his friend before he got too mad at me. Nice. So can I now... Ooh. Can I now kill zombies that are awake with a clean headshot? Let's find out. Wait for it. Wait for it. No, I missed. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Got way too cocky my own ability there, of which I have very little. Shouldn't be doing it. Shouldn't be doing it. I want to experiment. I want to know. Try to nab a soldier in the face while he's jiggling all about. Probably not your best move. It's much easier to do when they're still asleep, so I can nice and quietly go through and just kill all of these clowns. Hopefully get most of my bolts back as well. I feel like I'm getting stitched up. If you're not getting like 95% of your steel crossbow bolts back, I feel like that's a bit of a rort. Nah, they're all gone. All right, never mind then. I'll just wade through the bodies and try and find someone else to give my bolts back then. I'm just looking for friends, but you're all selfish muppets. I think I've done a pretty good job of clearing out most... Oh. Most of this area, oh, I guess not. I thought that looked sus, but sure enough it was. That's fine. You've got no backup, though. Everybody's already long dead. Nice little cover you've got yourself, though. I see how it is. You're taking your smoker and hiding out in the shop floor. Don't want to be found. Maybe suffer a little cubby hole. All right. Well, I've got all this cobblestone in here I need to put into my pockets. There's still some puppets outside. Mm, yeah, they'll, they'll make their way inside. That's fine. They'll get here when they're good and ready. I don't need to worry about them just yet. I've done a pretty good job of emptying out this whole factory area here. I think there's more... Scrap you. I'll just eat you because I have got touched up a little bit and could use the extra health. I think there's more... There's a little bit more upstairs. Like, ooh, well, in fact, with my sweet parkour skills, whoever needs to go fight the zombies when I can just skip the entire section and go get what I'm here for. This is like... This is like the antithesis of what I'm normally doing. Half the time, I'm getting distracted by doing dumb shit. This time, I'm skipping loot, skipping POI, skipping zombie murder to get what I'm actually... To get what I'm actually here for. And apparently, the game is like, yeah, nah, mate. How about I just break some physics for you instead? Oh, fuck it. <laughs> if you're not going to do it the right way, I'll do it my way. This is good, getting everything I need. How much cobble do I have now, actually? Ooh, like 1,500 of them. That's not too shabby at all. I think I had like 200 left over back at the base. Oh, hi, everybody. Look, I'm just, I'm just here for your stones. 
You don't have to defend it that bad. No, I'm not taking your good loot. Just your rubbish loot. It's all good. You guys didn't even care about it before. But as soon as I show up to take it, oh, suddenly you want it. Bloody toddlers, the lot of you. Oh, I know where I am. I know where I am. This is normally like a stop-off point for me while I'm raiding this place where I have my cult overnight just to try and get my bearings again. <sighs> Forgot about the bulletproof chairs that are upside down. Just, just do it quick. Just do it quick. It's fine. We'll be okay. There's lots of Muppets around. You've got lots of bullets for them. So you can be nice and generous and share the bullety love with as many Muppets as you possibly can. I'm just looking for some more cobble though. You guys hiding anything? Anything good? Ooh, there's some more down there. Ooh, and some concrete as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I have to raid like all the bottom floors here. Everything has to go into my pockets. Come back down to ground level. There's still a lot of zombies beating on things around the joint, so I'm not really comfortable at all. I'm gonna do my best to try and <laughs> just keep my head on a swivel as much as I can and try not to get surprised by someone jumping out of a wall somewhere. Something sneaky deaky hiding behind here. Oh, oh! Oh, that's not quite what I had in mind. Where the dickens did you come from? Came out of bloody nowhere, you dingo bitch. God damn, I was expecting zombies. Suddenly I got a little ankle biter cruising around. Oh, heckin' rude. Oh, here we go. All right, that makes my work nice and easy. We all just kind of like group up in a little window of death. That is A-OK -okay with me. Don't need to aim down the sights. Just kneecap the lot is. Thank you. Anyone else? And suddenly, oh, it's almost nice and peaceful, quiet. There's a nice little group of them just there. No, um, no generous donations, though, which is pretty rude. All of you guys are showing up nothing but lint in your pockets. Well, if you're going to come to a party, you've got to be packing at least a keg. Oh, I see. And this is where they all came through. All right, well, oh, I woke everybody up. Uh, let's just go back to the SMG. Let's not take any chances with this. I'm not in a position to get real bold with things. I don't trust... Oh, good day, bunny boy. I don't trust the the Magnum to save my life. <laughs> oh, bud. Looks like you're having a real bad day. All your friends left you jiggling in the corner. I've heard of a timeout, but... I mean, maybe you're hiding stripper titties. Maybe I can't see her down there. But either way, just quickly put you out of your jiggly misery. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't trust the Magnum as far as I can throw it. My weak as piss. I can't throw shit. It's already half past one, so I do want this to go about as quickly as I can manage it. So if I could just wake up, please. Missed you. Oh, missed you too. Got a little bit of tickle on the way through. I was going to get cocky. Ooh. Oh, oh. All right. Hello, everybody. I'm just going to keep on running until I get back into a room where I know it's relatively safe. Huh. That was a little more than I really bargained for. But all right. Fair play then. Is there somewhere here I can get him in a nice straight line? That's kind of going to have to do as they kind of cruise through. I can decapitate them running through a hail of bullets. Nice. Okay, this works fine. Nice and slow. Just keep having down the sides and wait for them to come to you. No need to risk it. No need to push it. Got plenty of time, plenty of resources, and plenty of bullets. Nice and slow will win the race. This has what the hare told me. So did the tortoise. They're not really showing any signs of slowing down. They're still churning out of the cafeteria over there like it's Meatball Wednesdays. Put you down. God, those bloody feral big mummers take so many more bullets than you think they ought to. Still got more waiting for me in there as well. God, they just don't stop. How? She's stuck in the aisle as well like it's a bloody Seinfeld episode. How many of you are in here? I just realized actually just how quickly I have been burning through. All of my 9mm ammo, so I probably need to use my magnum as a little bit more. How did that miss? Excuse me. Thank you. Splatter your noggin like the soggiest of watermelons. Oh god, there's more coming for me too. I just need cobble. I came here for one reason, and now apparently I'm in a battle. I'm hoping most of this upper floor is relatively empty now after all the shenanigans I just went through. Grab that uh, weapons bag while I'm here. In fact, what's my loot stage at? I'm in the desert. I'm in a tier 5 POI. Loot stage 135. That's not bad toffee apple. So, what are you going to offer me then? A suppressor? And mm, I'll just scrap you, actually. But a suppressor is good loot. Happy with that. I'm kind of getting hopeful that maybe at some point I might stumble across a... um. What's it called? A, a Dolce? Even like a tier 1 or a tier 2 would still be pretty tempting. The tier 5 Magnum is okay, but any Dolce is going to be so much better. Here we go. This is what I came for. I can see you make short work of you. I can't... 
I can't risk going out with the SMG anymore because I just don't have the ammo for it these days. Oh, I wasn't crouched. Josh, you flaming flamingo. How hard is it to remember to press one button every now and again just to make sure you're actually going to kill the ones you need to? He's dead. That was a good shot with the Magnum. Proud of me. I think that's another one down there, is it? No, it's just some trash. I mean, all zombies are trash, but that's the more literal sense. I might just have to go for it. Headlight off. Nice and stealthy. Things have changed here a little bit. I can't quite see as much as used to be able to. There's going to be zombies everywhere. The SMG is the last resort. I don't want to get down to it. Oh, button. Oh, button. I want to tickle a button. Oh, there's Muppets outside. So my mate. Quickly murder you. Nice and sneaky deaky. Open you. There we go. There we go. Now we have some breathing room. So I do get into trouble again. I can actually get out of here. I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to be sneaky. I'm trying to be quiet. There's a lot of concrete down here, though. This was definitely the right option to come and raid this joint for my all for all my supplies that I needed, rather than faffing about in a bunch of smaller POIs. 70 POIs or one big POI? I know which one I'd rather. <laughs> I'd rather just get it for free, to be honest. Open you. I see some footsies of a lumberjack, I think. And a weapons bag and a safe. Ooh, we're working stiffs. Okay. Gonna take me a while to harvest everything, but real quick. Didn't kill ya. You're gonna be up and about in a second. I think you're gonna have a pretty considerable limp. Well, give what I just put through your bloody calf muscle. Oh, then I put through your noggin as well. Occasionally. Occasionally I'm semi okay at this game, and fuck, it feels good. I'm getting loud with it to see if I can wake up anyone else in here. There's a couple of them coming for me already. Can't. Oh, there you are. Ooh, didn't put you down, but I tried my best. Oh, took off your arm, but didn't sit you down for good. Terrible follow-up shot, though. Not your best moment. Better. Someone's outside the door as well. Okay, look, you make a big ruckus, you draw a big crowd. That's fine. I have the weaponry to deal with it. As long as I can see them before they get inside. It is going to take me several hours to dig through all of this garbage in here. So instead, I'm going to quickly don my lucky gods. Quickly have a little look-see through you. Gross, gross, gross. Who wants a bloody tier 4 stun bat? Not me, nor should anyone. I'll find a loo for you in a jiffy. Let's quickly sort out the rest of this stuff. What have you got? Scrap you for the steel tool parts. I'll take both of you and quickly just welly my way into this bad boy. Hmm. Okay. So even with a really high loose save, not really find what I need. Dang. I would have thought, I would have thought a tier 5 POI in the desert would be a pretty good place to be, but turns out, well, I mean, I shouldn't wire it off after one stun button. That's the lowest of the low. Some ammo. Thank you very much. At least that's something I can use. Stun button? Considerably less so. Last box. Check you. Ah, nothing. I'm pretty sure, unless I'm mistaken, yeah, there we go. The loos were just at the back of the cafeteria here. Look, I know it might be a waste of time for some people, but, you know, sometimes you've got to do the right thing by the environment. You can't just throw litter like that out into the, uh, like, the world. That's just hazardous material. It's going to ruin everyone else's day. Do the right thing and flush your shit. So I have a skill point to spend. I just got it a second ago. Does mother load increase how much I get out of, like, pallets? I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't say so. It says, what, uh, from ore, stone, to rain blocks, and trees. Th th that doesn't say pallets, right? The pallets are different to that. They're not to rain blocks, they're not stone, they're ore, and they're not trees. So, I don't know. I might hold on to that skill point then and just set about what I was already doing. I don't know about that. I feel like it should affect it, but I'm not willing to gamble after wasting so many... <laughs> Wasting, spending uh, conscientiously uh, all of my skill points before to get my motorcycle. I'm not in a position to use anymore. Not being able to buy a forget elixir, so bloody costly, and I miss it so much. But, I don't know. Someone out there who knows better than me, please tell me, because the mother load might actually be kind of handy. But by the time you can tell me, it might be too late. Sounds like some of them have found me, and probably rightly so, given all of the damage I've been doing in here to all of their precious building resources. Didn't know uh, zombies were so, you know, determined to build themselves a new city. They're basically Roman zombies, but I got here first. Can't see shit about a sort of reflection on it, but that's fine. I'm shooting blindly. I hope I hit him. I did hit him. Hit him enough at least. Ooh, there's some more up there too. There's so much. There's so much in here. 
Oh god! Ah! Uh, ha 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 ha! Just let me just toddle on over here for a little bit. Thank god none of you guys heard the ruckus a second ago when I was around a tattering with a bloody 44 Magnum six inches from your face, but I'm okay with it, you know? Free XP, free kills, free peace and quiet. Oh, that could have got real bad. Some relatively good stuff in here too. Munitions boxes, hidden stashes, and all sorts of good stuff. I don't need you. I don't need you. Uh, ooh, I Hang on. Do I have any, any uh, glue on me? I could look, or I could just make duct tape with it. That's much, much easier. In fact, if I could get some more, I could make another duct tape. But that's all fine. What don't I need in here? I don't need you. I'll just use you straight away. Because I'm about to get some pretty good gums out of this, I hope. So I'm hoping I've got the space for it. What's in you? Scrap you. I'll take all of that. Don't need either of you, though. Thank you anyway. Scrap you again. God, I just made myself a bunch of steel bolts. Now you're offering me iron bolts left, right, and or center. Scrap you. Take that. Uh, I don't need you at all, actually. Hidden stash. Ooh. I'll leave you there for the moment. I was going to scrap you apart, but I'll leave you in, in your solid form just for now. Scrap you later. Anything in you? Some more guppins? God, see what I mean? Two seconds of looting. I'm already chock a block. Seeing as I am so full of guppins at the moment, and the crickets are starting to chirp. I spent all day in this place, but it was definitely worthwhile. I'm going to quickly chuck it all into my bike over here that I parked a long way away, like the galah that I am. You, open that. Chuck you all in. Quickly murder Bambi's mum, but that's fine. Look, I had to do what I had to do. I get you upset about it, but this isn't the way we solve our differences. A line, actually, violence is definitely the way we solve our differences in the apocalypse, but it's fine, because I have the bigger gun. It's going to swing the bike around and leave it back at the front door so future me can get to it much easier. There was a good amount of, like, cobble and stuff like that left over at the top of those stairs. So I think, rather than charging through the rest of the POI, even though most of it's probably pretty empty at this point, I've been pretty good about clearing most of this. Like, that's getting up into, like, the actual end of the POI. Like, all the way up there, that's where you have, like, a big battle. And I don't really want to do that. I just want that. So I'll have a, look, a little look-see over this way. See if there's an easier way for me to get up and around it. But, oh, God. Oh, hey. I thought, I thought you were coming. Good shoot, here. I thought you were coming a much different direction. But no, it's fine. Been through here already. If I could just get to that nice little stash, I'll be placated. Got another Muppet chasing me down. I think, I think I'm just gonna have to like build my way up there and just go digging it. I can't. That's terrible. I broke the window when I was supposed to be breaking your face and I'm sorry about that. There's a sneaky dicky ladder just there. In fact, does that mean, can I go? Ooh, there's a rafter right above me, but that's okay. Up. If I just go like this and just completely bypass the rest of the POI I was supposed to go through and end up here, yeah, I've skipped a lot. Okay, that's ooh, that's only a couple. Um, I think this last little stash here will be enough for me. Because once i got this, I can start heading home. And start, like, kind of tallying up what I've got. Ready to build the base I need later. Always grab the weapons bag at the back for... A robotics pass and pistol parts, you know? It's a Dolce or a DD if I ever find a schematic for either of them, so that's fine. I did bring my robotics parts and my uh, pistol parts with me down to the desert, so if I do find the schematic for either one of those, I have the means to make them. But yeah, I'll grab this. I'll get going. This was good. This was a productive journey. I got everything I needed. All right, which way is home? That's the mountain range over there, which is where the wasteland is, which means my house should be just over here somewhere. So much of this town yet to go. Huh. Oh, I didn't get to... Oh, you know what? I didn't get to raid the robotics place, though. The place I wanted to go that was the bigger robotics place that I've seen before. This joint. Oh, that's a bloody thin-ass sign. Got stuck up on a bloody needle dick of a thing. I want to know. I want to know what's inside you. I might have to come back for you another day, then. Which one are you? Are you just this one here? I think so. Yeah, you are. Okay, that's what I'll do tomorrow morning. Because that's where DD is hiding. And I so desperately want a friend. I'm willing to risk it for that friendly biscuit. Pull up out the front again in all of our speedy glory. Chuck you down. Uh, can I take everything with me, actually? No, I've got a couple of spots remaining. What did I come home with, though? What did I actually get? I got ooh, almost 3,000 cobblestone. That should be enough, actually. If I roll it with, like, 3,000 concrete... 
I think it's only like, is it, it's either four cobblestones to upgrade a block or it's 10. I'm not sure which one is the right one. But either way, I'm not going to need more cobble than I'm going to need cement. So that should be fine. I should have everything I need out. <gasps> what the fuck? What the fuck? No. No. Fucking nah, mate. You can't be spawning zombies in me house. I got me land claim blocked down. Get this shit off me porch. What? You fucking what, Jigglypuff? You goopy leg bitch, get the shit off me roof. How dare you come back and raid me house when I'm out? You squatter fucks. Rude. Heckin' fucking rude. I was having a nice time doing lovely things with lovely people, and you guys had to ruin me day. There's more of them, too. They're stuck in here somehow. I'm not sure how. So is... I... 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 Oh god, I don't understand. Scobo, can you explain it to me please? Or you can explain how a bloody crumple works if you had to. So I doubt it. Um... I don't know, this is the first one I've played in the 20.4 update. So maybe that broke the whole multiple uh, land claim block thing. Maybe I can't have both things anymore. Which would be a damn shame because I was heckin' bloody valuable. Huh. That has thrown a considerable size fish. Not even into my frying pan. Go away. I mean, no, come back. I, I take it back. I'm sorry, I need to kill you first. That has not gone according to plan at all. Is everyone dead now? Can I have my house back in peace, please? Oh, there was a lot of things I was expecting to happen today, and that was the last thing on the list. Oh, wait. All right, well, all, all of you, rather, get into them. That's good. So we've got like 3,500 cobble, almost 4,000 concrete. So that's a reasonably good mix. I've got lots of cement powder. I've got a good amount. Of, well, not a good amount of sand, actually. I need some more sand, I need some more stone, but that's doable. Put the rest of this stuff away. Man, my heart rate is pounding right now. There we go. Everything's away. So tomorrow, I've got wood, I've got coal, I've got concrete. So I have enough stuff to go and start making the base. Over in that little pocket, where is it? Out there somewhere? No, that's not the one. Maybe, hang on, is it on the other side of the factory I was just in? It is. So just there. So that's where I'm going to start hawking up my base. It may only be a small patch of wasteland, but loot stage don't care. Oh, man. I also need to go and figure out why my game is struggling so much. I've had more lag today than I've had in a long time. So I wanted to go maybe run the game on a lower resolution. So for you guys, it doesn't matter at all. It still comes out at the same reso on YouTube anyway. But for me, just a smaller window. We'll see how that works out. Just try and trial some things to get things to run a little bit smoother. But it's good to be back. It's good to be back making content again. I really missed it. But I'm going to have to come back and build my horde base. Oh my god, it's already day 46 I'm coming into. It's day 48 is the next horde, I think, isn't it? Is it? No. Wait, Josh, times tables. 49. 49 is the next horde night. Bloody get it straight. So I've got a little bit of time. Knock up a horde base. Make sure I test it and get it working. I also still need to find my bloody blade traps. And I think they're down in the winter biome somewhere. Although now that the land clay blocks don't work, who bloody knows? But I have to come back, find those blade traps, and build myself the horde base in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.